what advice would you give to like somebody who is dealing uh, with all of these challenges even when you stand up right sometimes you have to face retaliation or treatment which is unfair and how do you build the courage and resilience to move forward despite that um so so it's tough i know it was tough for me and it's going to be tough for anyone because again as i said uh, the biases and uh, how can you just stand up and start talking that is not very becoming of who you are and or you are categorized as somebody who always is a troublemaker because you'll always stand up and always mm. ask for something which is rightfully should be rightfully done to you um see again i said the it has to be you have to really believe in yourself that what you're doing is and whatever you are entitled maybe it's not the right word whatever uh, you are supposed to be given is supposed is the correct thing and as i said that you should always have champions around you people who believe in what you are saying people who believe who can advocate for your cause because it's very difficult to do it on your own so you should always have people around you who are willing to support you and i say support you it is just that they understand that these kind of things exist and they are willing to be uh, your sounding boards when you are trying to articulate when you are trying to defend yourself and when you are defending your positions so again i'll give a little example of god has given this privilege to women to be able to bear kids right now organizations i'll not say organizations but i've seen uh, situations where roles have been drawn from women but just because you know they have taken a break or they are expecting i mean for god's sake they are just delivering a baby they haven't becoming a they haven't become brain dead right and the reasons they will give you that oh no we want you to uh, be relaxed calm we don't want to give a stressful job and you know that when once you are coming when you come back after that break you are never ever going to be given those prestigious projects or the job or the assignment that was yours earlier so you have to flag it you have to take it to the concerned authorities and say that to see this is this is something that is happening to me and i am not okay with it See, if you ask for a break and you say that no this is a tiring time for me and i don't, i want a you know project which is a little light that's a separate issue but if you're fully capable which most of the women are when you can of course deliver a baby you know, i don't think a mere project is going to be very difficult for you to do right but i've seen it time and again that just because you take a break or you are in the process of you know having a baby so uh, your duties are cut down your responsibilities are cut down you're not giving uh, given good projects which otherwise you would have been if you were uh, not about to give birth to your baby thank you i think that's a wonderful statement and i'm going to quote you on that right if you can give birth to a baby then what else could be more challenging and it's uh, exactly. it's exactly. such a wonderful perspective because as men right don't even know many times what it takes to give birth or to raise a child right and how much that is compared to anything else that we could face uh, at work so thank you for adding that yes and i want to acknowledge that right uh, like even in my career when i started and i saw you as the leader i think the first feeling was like uh, of weirdness like this feels weird and but the mm-hmm. second feeling uh, like after after a while was like this is something new right so you set an example for me and i think i've shared with you before also like you have been one of those women leaders who have changed yeah. those biases in my mind about <clears throat> what a woman leader can be or what women can do yeah, and thank you so much for acknowledging that so much because i haven't seen a lot of people or specifically men who can actually agree with the fact that you know they had a bias and it changed over a period of time so it takes a lot of courage so i mean thank you so much and hats off to you to do that 